are taking all of the carbon flash uh, wing, side skirts, and front splitter off of the Camaro, and we're replacing it all with carbon fiber. So guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I am standing in my new garage that I've turned into a shop um, as well as we've got another, uh, we finally have moved and, um, and so we bought this house a few months ago and the first thing I started doing was to make sure that we got the shop ready to go. Now we also have another full size shop that's being built on the opposite side of the property. Um, so we'll eventually uh, get over there too. But right now uh, we are actually located in uh, Plumas Lake, California, which is about 20 minutes outside of Sacramento. And uh, we're right, literally right off the freeway. So uh, it's very convenient for you to be able to get to us. What we're doing today is we are taking all of the carbon flash uh, wing, side skirts, and front splitter off of the Camaro and we're replacing it all with carbon fiber. Um, our sponsor, Extreme Online Store, has supplied us with all of the parts. Um, it's all here over on the side. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but um, there was a lot of boxes here that showed up, and so we'll be doing that transformation here today. Now, the main reason behind this is, is that the car is, as you know, my, my Burgundy Corvette, it can have the carbon flash and it really makes a distinction, right? A real, real big contrast. The black Camaro with black carbon or carbon flash, it doesn't really, it doesn't have that contrast. Now I'm not saying that's not good. I'm honestly saying that I like it. I like the contrast. So I wanted to be able to go with some carbon fiber. Now, if you have a lighter color car, you got a white one, you got, you know, um, any of the lighter colors, the, uh, the carbon flash works really well. So anyway, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking all of this stuff off of the car and after we're done putting the carbon fiber stuff on this one, we're gonna take all of this stuff and we're gonna put it onto a white Camaro just like this one. And, and so this way you'll be able to see that you can, you know, the, the differences of what black with carbon flat or carbon fiber is versus the white with carbon flash. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Hopefully you enjoy the video. We're gonna jump back into it right now and we'll go from there. All right guys, I'm here underneath the lift now, underneath the car, and uh, as you can see, I am sitting in what's like a uh, small creeper, kind of like a little seat here. Um, my garage is about nine foot, six inches tall, and I could have elected, I had just enough room to be able to put a full size lift in but I chose not to because I didn't want to take the chance that I would ever stuff a car right up into the ceiling. So I wanted to make sure that I would always have clearance. And so what I chose to do is I did a lot of research and I found a company called MaxJack that does a really, really good job. The, the system, uh, this is their second generation of the lifts. So they have the automatic locking systems and all the stuff that the big, big uh, systems have. Um, the company is actually, uh, the parent company is Benpack and um, they, uh, you know, they're well known throughout the industry as one of the, the leaders in, in lifts. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, give you a perspective of why I'm sitting here, uh, you know, on, almost on the ground and, and working. But this is, those of you that do stuff at home, uh, and I don't do a lot of stuff on the lift. I do it when I'm doing videos for you guys. but. Um, this just works out really, really well. So anyway, uh, with this little seat, I'm still working at almost the exact same angle that I was when I'm working on a full-size lift like I am over at Terry's shop. So, so anyway, um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take these screws out of the bottom of this. Like I said, we're not, I'm not going to go through all of that with you, the removal. There's no sense in it. All right, guys. So now that we've got it off, um, you can see that it's just held on by the the uh, eight millimeter screws here all the way around the bottom lip of the bumper and the two-sided stick tape that's literally put here just to hold this nice and tight to the bottom of the bumper. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this off to the side here and we'll get it all nice and clean back up so we can put it on Grace's white Camaro. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath here, I'm going to get all the, the sticky off of here, clean all this up, and then we'll get the other one out and be able to put some new uh, stick tape on that one. We'll get it up there and get it mounted. All right, guys, before we want to go and put the new one on, we want to make sure we've got all the sticky tape off. We want to make sure that we, we clean the bottom of the bumper itself. So I'm just using some glass cleaner, which uh, actually works really, really well. Um, but you can use whatever you'd like to use. I'm just trying to get all the, all the dirt and grime off um, so it's nice and fresh when we start over. Now that I've wiped everything down already, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the alcohol pad just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and that the sticky tape is going to uh, adhere. Okay. All right, guys, it comes with two rolls of tape. Uh, one is basically, let me turn this around so you guys can see it. Um, let's see, yeah, you guys can see this. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up putting a, a strip along this top edge up here, okay? And then also down here, down by where the screws are at. This is gonna give you a really good, uh, good adhesion point. And then your screws will, you'll be able to just put your screws right in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Now you wanna make sure to put this down about a quarter of an inch from the top leading edge. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See if I can turn my, turn the uh, splitter around here. Do you see what I'm doing? Here's the top edge up here, and you wanna put it down a little bit lower. The reason for that is that, one, it's gonna, it's gonna bite really good, but number two, and this is basically the main reason is that you don't want you don't want this to be seen you don't want the tape to be seen underneath so uh, at the right at the right angle someone looking straight down might be able to see the tape so if you just put it down like I said about a quarter of an inch you should be good you see what I'm doing right here you can see it's right along the bottom edge about a quarter of an inch all the way below now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing right along this edge here, let me show you here, right along here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Like that's gonna line up okay. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the tape, okay? Yeah, there's, there's two. So now, before you tighten all these up, and get that sticky tape all stuck up there, you want to make sure that you get you get those done and then you get your outer edges lined in there too. This way it will all the rest of them will take from there. Okay. So go to the center, go to the outside edge. Don't grind them all the way in, guys. Just uh, just get them started. Okay. needed to. But now we can start going here and just start it all. Let's sit back down here. We basically we've got all of our screws in now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snug them all up. Alright. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten those old guys down. You don't want to over tighten them. Okay. So then at that point, there's a couple extra holes. Uh, I noticed that there's like one right here, and there's one right over here that the factory doesn't put a screw hole for it. So they actually came with extra screws in the package that are nice and sharp little guys. Alright guys, that was it. That's how simple it was to install this one. 
The other one installs exactly the same way as you've seen in my old video and I'll put that up there again like I'll put a, a, a marker in the screen and I'll put the link to the old video. Um, we're now going to go over to the, uh, the side skirts and we're going to take the side skirts off. Um, we actually, Terry and I, we riveted these on um, and I honestly don't remember, depending on which kit you get from time to time, they will send you either rivets or they'll send you screws. So I think on this kit we actually got, we got rivets. If we didn't get them, we probably just supplied them ourselves. So not a big deal. Either way, if you get rivets, use your rivets or you can get some screws. It's not a big deal. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the, drill the rivets out, take the side skirts off, and then we'll be able to uh, get the new side skirts on the car. All right, guys, as you can see, we are under the car and we've got multiple rivets all over the place here. So this kit, I was just look, excuse me, just looking and they included the, um, let's see if I can zoom out here a little bit. They actually included um, screws in this other kit. And uh, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drill my, drill my screws out, or my rivets out. grab the nylon pry tool and we'll get it get this one off so I just got this wedged in here I pulled the tape loose a little bit and you're just gonna pull the tape you're just gonna ever so carefully just pull down you don't want to tear it just do it slow and it will eventually come free there we go just like that all right so now the fun begins again guys we just have to take the sticky tape loose Get it all off the car, and then we're just going to clean it like we did the the front of the of the car when we did the splitter. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking an al alcohol swab here, and I'm wiping down the uh, side skirt also. Even though I've already done it to the body, I want to make sure that we get all, any residue that may be on the finish on the side skirt off too. So the sticky tape is going to stick. So we're going to let that dry just for a second here. Once we've got this all cleared off, all nice and clean, and we've got our sticky tape on to here, onto our, our side skirt, we're going to go ahead and pull the tape back. Now, if you have someone to help you, then it makes it a little bit easier for you to do this part of it. I'm just going to pull that tape back to there. That way I can pull it back and it isn't getting stuck over there when I go to do this. So I'm going to put this little guy right up here. I'm going to line it right up to the back side of this, right in that, in that V. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I'm going to go upward with it, okay, just like that. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead We'll drop this down just a hair, just enough for me to be able to get the tape out. And we'll go ahead and we'll get this stuck onto the car. So now, at that point, we are ready to be able to go back underneath the car and do our screws or rivets, whatever your kit comes with, okay? So, okay, so there's one. Okay. Try another one here. Let's see what we get. Now I'm going to move over this a little bit because, like I said, we're going right into another rivet hole. So I'm just going to go here. There we go. Just like that. There we go. All right. Got one right here, and we should be good. Be able to go to the other side. So guys, we went ahead and we've gotten the front splitter done, we've got the side skirt on. I'm not going to show you the other side, there's no reason to show you how to put the other skirt on, it's exactly the same way. 
So once we're done here, once I'm done with that, um, we'll be getting the car off the lift. I'll get it back in the other part of the bay here and then we'll be able to go ahead and put the new wing on. All right guys, we've got the side skirts on, we've got the front splitter done and I've, I'm standing here back here where my wing is now. Um, we've got the new carbon fiber one laying here right on the floor with some padding on it. Um, and I just wanted to go over that with you. It actually comes with an instruction sheet, very detailed, uh, all the different steps that you need to do. So you want to follow this. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one off and then we'll pull the, uh, we'll put the other one on. Now, taking this one off is going to be exactly like if you just had the stock basic one, it comes off exactly the same way. So um, just follow what I'm doing here to remove it and then that way you can put the other one on. It's literally the same bracketry, um, but I am gonna go ahead and change it because I want you guys to be able to know how to do it. Um, so anyway, uh, sit back and watch this part of it and then you'll be able to know how to do the whole thing, all right? Is we might as well go ahead and pull this cover off so we can get to it. So I've just got a nylon pry tool here and you're just gonna get underneath there and pop these, these snaps loose. that. All right, so now we've got that, this little cover here, this just pops off. Let's see if we can get that to come off with our pry tool also. like that and then this little cover should come right off. You just have to pull it down now. Just like that, we'll set it inside the trunk. All right, so now that allows us to get to all the screws that we need to get to. There's actually a couple of them right in here. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll just try to zoom in. But there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple of screws that are right there. Okay, so basically all we're gonna do guys we're just going to take our screw gun and we're going to undo it. On this one, it is short port, closed port, so we're going to need to use our socket. Okay. Now, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and we're this one we can actually get our our hands on, and it's not um, it's not hollow right here, so not a big deal. So now, like I said, I need to take. They can do it like so, right? So that that, that nut comes right out without dropping it. Just like that. And we can do the same thing with this one here. Let's see, did I take that one loose already? This spoiler has not, or this, this wing hasn't been on the car that long. It's only been on a few months. So I'm not expecting this to really fight me to get this off. But if you were dealing with a brand, you know, one of your original factory spoilers, it's going to be a nightmare to get this off because the glue that they use or the, the sticky tape that they use underneath these stanchions to get them off. So if you do do that, there's a trick to this. You can use um, you can use uh, kite string or fishing string. Use a little bit of WD-40. Yes, you're going to have to wipe it off your paint, but the WD-40 acts as a, a lubricant, keeps it where it will slide, and it'll cut right through it. it. Won't hurt your paint. Just you know, you don't want to grind it. You just want to do it side to side, ever so slow. So, um, and then it'll just come right off for you. Okay. So this right here is probably going to be a little sticky, but we're going to. We're going to move it up just a little bit here. There we go. All right. So then at that point, 
we should be able to go ahead and take our spoiler off. There we go, just like that. All right, guys, we are down here at my, my little workbench here, and we're gonna assemble all of the uh, stanchions to be able to hook onto the wing. So you're gonna start out, uh, you have two of these, um, two of these stanchions. They only go on the one way or the other. I mean, it, it's not, you're not gonna be able to, you know, screw that up at all. So basically all you're gonna do here is you're just going to, you're just assembling these. So again, they'll only fit in, this piece will only fit into this one and so on and so forth. So we're just gonna press that little guy in there like that. And then you're going to take these sleeves. You've got a, you've got these these sleeves here. Okay. Uh, actually, I got one of them screwed up here. There we go. I'll switch that around. I'm going to put the short sleeve over here on the short side of it, and then you're going to take the longer one and put it in here like so. Okay. Then you're going to do the long screw here, and the short screw into this one. Okay. And what that does is gets them almost exactly the same. Okay, so then at that point, you're going to go ahead and you're going to set these in place. And you're just going to use a, uh, a hex head. I'm just using this here to get them started. Let's see if I can get these little guys to go. And I'm just setting it back down in place here. So we just got it here like so, right where it belongs. Okay. And now she's now she's in there. The trunk's open, that's why it's moving. But we just got that all set up. So now if your holes were really loose, these were you know these are nice and tight, so I don't have any problem being able to flip this up. But you if you have somebody that will help you hold it. That's a good thing to do. Um, like I said, I don't think this one's gonna go anywhere on me, but I'm not gonna trust it, so I'm just gonna hold it. Um, the sticky tape should hold it, but I just don't wanna take that chance. So I'm gonna take one of my bolts here, or one of my nuts, the one's easy to get to, and I'm just gonna put this, put one in here, so, I, so the wing is not gonna fall off when I go to lift the, um, when I lift the, the, the trunk. Okay, so now that I've got one of the screws in there, I can lift it up all the way and it's not gonna fall down. Okay, let's start putting the screws in. Now, exactly the same way, you don't wanna just go straight in, remember that, right? So we wanna come down like so, and we're just gonna start them, I wanna start them by hand at first. And guys, I know you're probably saying, God, he's doing it overkill. Well, it may be overkill, but I tell you what, you have to go dig for that screw in this trunk. You're not going to be happy. So, we have to use those, those, use those by hand. Alright. Alright, so now at that point, we are mounted. So guys, this part's just reverse order of what we what we did before, and make sure our little emergency handle comes through here like this. Let's see if we can get it to come through. There we go. And it goes up and over that like that. This little, little guy goes around the, the cable. All right. Then we go ahead and we can put our our little cover for our latch on there. We've also got our little black covers. Let's put those over the screw holes here. And if these are a little too tough for you to push, push with your thumb, you can use the back end of a screwdriver or something like that. You just want to be careful that you're not going to scratch something up or ding it up. But your thumbs should be able to push them in. They're just kind of, they're kind of tight. They're, Take your time. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the winglets on. Uh, all right, guys, we have the wing on now and all we have to do now is that we have to attach our side winglets. 
And so you can see right here, you can you can feel right in there that it's got a it's a groove. It, it's like there's really no way of screwing that up to get it in the right spot. They are keyed left and right. You can see right here in the hopefully here in the camera we'll pick it up. There's a groove, so there's no way you're gonna get that confused here. Okay. Now what you can do is a couple different things. And you can either take some sticky tape and you can put it along this edge, okay, and then leave the center spot completely um, completely open so this way you can put your, your JB weld or your, um, um, your epoxy here in the center. And what you also want to do is you want to take, you want to tape this edge off all the way around here. Okay. The reason behind that is, is that you don't want the epoxy to goo out and get all over your wing and be visible. Okay. The other thing that I did do, and I did this off camera, is that I drilled uh, some pilot holes right here. That what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to squirt a little bit of epoxy inside these holes. And the reason behind that is that that way the epoxy is going to ooze into there. It's not just going to be on this surface. So it'll be inside here and then it will attach onto, it'll just give you a little more surface to bond uh, to, the, uh, to the winglet. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and, and tape this off. Okay, so like so. And I'm using, a, I'm using a clear epoxy. You could use a black or you could use, you can use clear, however you want to do it and you just want to make sure that you get it where it's not right up there. Give yourself like a sixteenth of an inch or so. So that way you'll be able to get the tape off later on. Okay. Go. And then I'm going to test fit this. I'm going to make sure that it that it's going to work okay, and that I don't have any have any overlap. Just make sure that it's all going to fit fit nice and smooth there. Okay. A lot of the work is in the prep, so like I'm sure you've heard that before. So just take your time. Get this. You get this right, and you it's going to look great. If you try to rush this part, then you very well may have have some epoxy showing up somewhere that you don't want. Okay, so now that we've got that set to go, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to get this ready. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to, once we epoxy this, we're going to take this, we're gonna take this tape and we're going to go up and around the wing like so to tape that that winglet on. Once we do that, we're just going to leave it. Now, uh, in my other video, you saw that I used a one-minute epoxy, and that epoxy, um, and they're both JB Weld, right? They were both clear JB Weld. The first one was a one-minute. That was almost too fast. Uh, I had to end up using another. Uh, I'm going to show you this little tool here. Uh, this this pre-mixes it for you. You put this on here, and you push this down, it mixes it up perfectly for you. But what it does do in one minute, trying to do this side and do that side at the same time, I had to use up, end up using another one of these tubes. So I'm going to give myself five minutes. Now that saves you about five dollars. Okay, the, uh, the one minute is about a fifteen dollar tube. This is about nine or ten dollars. So that will save you a little bit of money and give you a little bit of room to work. Okay, so basically all I'm doing, I am just going to get this little piece of tape here ready to go. Set that there like that. Then I'm going to go ahead. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is just the cap right here that, that you twist and you pull it off. Okay, just like that. Now, if you didn't buy this, this accessory right here, which is a pre, uh, it's like a straw that has the Maybe I can put this up to the camera and you can kind of see it. But you can see the veins running through this. So basically what happens is that these two tubes that are in there are going to go into each one of these and it's going to pre-mix it. And as it comes out, it's completely ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there just like that. Okay.
If you are careful and you just get it in to here, you just get it inside this this little uh, um, valley here, I should say. You just get it in there and you don't get it on the edges. You're not going to really, the, the tape is going to be, you're not going to need it anyhow. But sometimes you make a mistake, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do this. Now, hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, we'll just try to put it here. Let me see, yeah, because I think you can see it in the uh, deal. So I'm just going to squeeze this out. You can start to see it squirreling around, even though it's clear. It, it does, you'll be able to see it come out. And so you just want to try to keep it right off the edges because it's going to run out onto those edges anyhow, so you don't want to go up onto the edge. Okay, just like that. All right, and pull back just a hair so it doesn't, doesn't get you. So you can see here what we've got. Got it right there inside. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach attach the winglet. Just like that. Okay. Alright. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the tape that I did. Okay. Now if you had used the two-sided stick tape like I've done in the past, this would have already kind of stuck. That's all we're doing there, just like this. Okay. I'm going to do that over here too. Just like that. Okay. Now that little guy is good to go right there. So in about five minutes, this thing is going to be gooped. Okay, so we're good there. Now I'm going to run over to the other side. We'll go ahead and we'll scoot the camera over a little bit here so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to grab my tape. This little guy is finished. So I'll show you a picture of it. I'll show you some video of it after it's all done here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to show you what it looks like here. Let's go ahead and get you, we'll get it over here. And you can see that that's what it looks like. And we're doing the same thing over here, you can see. So guys, we're here the next day after I've installed the wing and allowed everything to dry. And uh, you can see right here that it looks great. And uh, you saw how it was totally installed. So now you know exactly how to do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the information here on the bottom of the screen on exactly where you can get this kit. It's from Extreme Online Store. I'm gonna put all that information right here on the screen and uh, you'll know exactly where to get one. If you're in the area or if you want to be able to come out to me, I am in the Sacramento area in California. And if you want to reach out to us, we'll be able to install this kit for you as well as any other uh, accessory that Ex Extreme Online Store sells. Um, and so anyway, uh, that's what it looks like. I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen here so you guys can see the difference between what the black car with the carbon fiber looks like versus the white car with the original uh, carbon flash. The kits are identical uh, except for the fact of the finish. So anyway, so take a look at those. Uh, guys, if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified of our, all of our uploads. 
as well as I have decided that what we're doing is you you know we do a lot of uh, you know Camaro stuff and we do a lot of stuff with uh, with CTSs and things like that. It's not just all Corvette, and so um, I have been asked to go ahead and open up a new. Uh, YouTube channel and we're going to be calling that TCC Customs which is the name of our business actually that we actually work off of um, so if you come to us that's what you'll be doing you'll be, uh, be coming to TCC Customs and so we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to start that YouTube channel I'm going to put that information in the in the description also here so you'll know exactly where to go and I will start sending that out Now I'm hoping that you guys will all subscribe basically what we're gonna do with that we're still gonna do Corvette content on the Corvette channel but what I want to be able to do is when we're doing Camaro or doing a Hellcat or doing anything like that uh, and we get a lot of those customers now uh, they have Z06's I have a customer who has a Z06 and a Hellcat and an SRT Durango um, you know you guys all have these different cars and that's what I've been talking about uh, before where we have CTSBs and things like that and so what we want to do is we want to start showcasing all of the installations that we do so uh, we'll be doing uh, some how-to's as well as hey this is our customer here's here's what it looks like before this is what it looks like after so you guys can see our work so I would really appreciate it if you guys all subscribe to it um, that will help get us on the map so I, I'd really appreciate that so I'll put that information here on the screen and hopefully you guys will do that for me I really appreciate it we have right now I think as I'm filming this we have about 11 uh, 11,000 250 somewhere in that ballpark uh, subscribers for the Corvette channel and I would love for each and every one of you that have already subscribed to the Corvette channel to go and subscribe to TCC Customs I would really appreciate that that would really help kick that channel off and uh, what we're gonna do is all of the installations that we've done already on Corvette channel I'm gonna put all those videos up on TCC Customs so you can see that as well as customer testimonials that we have been doing um, so so hopefully you guys will you'll get a little better inside of what we are how we do it and, um, and we'll go from there so please subscribe to that one hit that like button also and that way we'll be able to put those up and we won't have to be putting all of those videos the Corvette videos or I should say the Camaro and the and the Hellcat videos and things like that up on the Corvette channel so much I don't mind putting it out there but I don't want to bombard all of the Facebook groups when I when I put one of those out and then people are like going well hey you just put out a, a C7 Corvette video and you're putting it into the, the C4 uh, Corvette group so um, I'm gonna try to break it down so TCC Customs is more uh, more than generic and you'll be able to see what we're doing so anyway guys uh, thank you guys all for subscribing I know I've talked a lot today uh, but thank you guys all for subscribing again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I will catch you on the next video.